Certainly along the ride for this roller coaster of weather, Kristen. I know we're kind of in the bottom here, but we'll eventually <laughs> make our way to the top, won't we? And exactly, at least for really for a nice start to the uh, weekend. And we're getting pretty late in November. So if we make our run at 60, that'll be pretty impressive. That's a few days off. Right now we're looking at still some snow showers. You can see on the radar, we have some rain showers mixing in with these lake effect snow bands. So in spots, we actually have some outside my window, we have sunshine in spots. You see a little bit of a break south of Pittsburgh and east of Pittsburgh as well. Also almost northeast of the turnpike, we have a nice dry spell there, but just every half an hour or so, we're getting another round of these lake effect bands coming off of Lake Erie, and that's the way it'll be this afternoon. You can see by contrast, look at our tower camera downtown, where we do have that next band of snow and sort of a kind of a rain-snow mix pushing through. Very, very cloudy. 32 degrees at the airport right now, where we do have that band of snow pushing in. But a lot of this is melting on contact. We did have a little coating in spots and a minor accumulation north and east of Pittsburgh. And look at the numbers. Big variation here. We're up to 39 in Washington and Waynesburg, where we've had some sunshine breakthrough. 38 in Cranberry, 39 in Greensburg. But then Pittsburgh is down at the freezing point right now, shrouded in clouds with that snow band. Winds right now out of the northwest, anywhere between around 5 and 12 miles per hour across much of the area. Pittsburgh Beaver Falls reporting a 15 mile per hour wind, and it's blustery again today. Look at these wind gusts, gusting up to 26 miles per hour at the airport. We'll likely see gusts as high as 30 miles per hour through mid to late afternoon, and then after sunset, that dies down. So we get the wind crossing Lake Erie. The Great Lakes are still unfrozen, so it picks up that moisture, and we get rain and snow bands pushing down through the uh, whole western half of the state right now. And you can see everything's sort of just spiraling, like spokes on a wheel. We get push after push of moisture, but it's going to start to die out later this evening. You see the last edge of this is right over the Cleveland area. To the west, we're clearing out, and we will start to get this dying out through the afternoon. Futurecast shows this. By 5 o'clock, just a few of these lake effect snow bands, especially from Butler County to the north, and then we dry out this evening. But areas up around Forest, Venango County, you could see up to about another two or so inches of snow by tomorrow morning. Also into the Laurel Highlands, up around Somerset County, maybe an extra inch or so of snow. But then it'll all melt because as we head through tomorrow, we're back to beautiful sunshine throughout the day. And nothing but really dry weather and a big warm up on the way as we head into the weekend. So projected snow, maybe an extra inch or two very far north and east of Pittsburgh, north of I-80 and also up into the higher elevations of the Laurels. 40 degrees by late this afternoon. And look at this sunshine tomorrow and by Thursday, we're up to 60 degrees and those 60 stick around through Sunday.